Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Derek Robinson, uh, director of a human rights group called Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. In regards to the Space Preservation Act uh, resolution that's before you, many of us have traveled here today to say thanks very much for listening and responding to so many that have come to you uh, over the past couple of years. Um, this is a momentous occasion for our organization and for humanity. You're one of the very few governing authorities that have considered the dangers of psychotronic technologies. Research in this area has been ongoing since the 50s by government agencies, corporations, uh, criminal elements, uh, religious cults, etc. But only since the arrival of the Internet has uh, this Holocaust been made known to thousands of people who have found that they are victims of psychotronic technologies and that they have been surreptitiously uh, victimized by them. And as the devices proliferate and the public becomes more aware of these covert activities, legislation on a local and national level will be needed to address the concerns with regard to a vulnerable society. Your resolution today is a, would be a giant step forward in ensuring the health, safety, and well-being for all people. Thank you. Lucretia Baker. Hello to all the legislators in City Hall, Javanka, my girl Amy over there. I've been a Richmond resident 40 plus years. I've seen two of my friends try and fight this fight, but their bodies are gone. There's no coming back. My mother was a, a Black Panther that killed her. She was only 58 years old. And I'm just happy at this moment that somebody in our town, our city has opened the doors for many people who couldn't make it, didn't make it, and were survivors of it. And I just want to say thank you. Dolores Hall. I did not know you were going to call me to speak, but I will share. I head up the Los Angeles uh, Freedom from Covert Harassment group. This is a support group. And I have about 300 people that is in that group. I get over 400 emails on a weekly basis of people asking me to help them and begging me, please help, no one will listen to me. I'm 65 years old. And as I walk here, up to this podium, I'm in so much pain. I have burns all over my body. They, my doctor, I had treated with for 16 years. I, my legs swole up from the electric magnetic frequencies hitting me on my legs. He told me to go to the hospital. And when I went to the hospital, they were supposed to put an IV in me. They sent me to the mental ward because they said, I did this to myself. Oh, it never hurt me. I have been a victim since 2007. You can't see this um, horrific electric hitting you. Electric is invisible. You take a remote control to turn your TV. You can't see it to turn your television it hurts so bad. I want to thank you for opening your minds and your time today. I am a retired legal investigator. I have asked all my friends, and very prominent friends, to help me. We can't do anything about this. It is way, way over our heads. It's like they say it's the shadow government. It is uh, people that cannot be touched. Please help us. Kim, 
next week. Hello, my name is Kimberly Buckner, and I have been a targeted individual for a very long time. The things I have experienced due to being targeted, they have been unreal. But, however, I can personally attest that this is very real indeed. Uh, my life has been destroyed in every possible way, and every day has been a struggle for me. I am very grateful to be before you today due to Amy Anderson's due diligence and to everyone else involved. Uh, I thank you, council members, for giving us targeted individuals a chance to speak and to be heard. And I pray that these atrocities will soon be brought to an end. We, but we need your help. Thank you. Alex. Good evening, Council Mayor. Uh, good evening. My name is Alec Rafter. I am an NYU graduate and have spent much of my time working at a financial holding company in San Francisco. I have been a targeted individual for eight years, six months. I'm from Lafayette, California, which is in this county. I am here to support and cooperate with these other speakers who are trying to convey. This technology exists and is being used on a mass scale. It is torturous, brutal, and inhumane. It happens everywhere I go. People don't understand the capabilities of this technology. The person I came with uh, here today, tonight, um, was being shocked and stabbed in this very room with a directed energy weapon while waiting to speak with the council. My ears are getting frequency tinnitus while sitting while I was sitting here waiting for you, as well as a technology called Voice to Skull, developed by Dr. Alan Frey. Um, like I said, this happens everywhere I go in northern and southern California. I've been tortured all day, all night, minute after minute, year after year after year. We need your help and support to stop this, to save us, and to prevent this from happening to others. Please support... Um, banning the so-called uh, space-based weapons. Thank you very much. <coughs> Robert Swaggett. 